Um, my name's James Kelly, and uh, I've been at Juniper for 13 years in engineering, product, and marketing roles now. Um, I have presented quickly at uh, an NFD before, but um, you won't see my face on many of the videos. But uh, it's it's really uh, I've got a few announcements that I'm really excited about to actually do this time here at NFD, and then I kind of want to tee up the day of what you guys are going to see uh, from the data center side. Um, so. Before I, uh, before I kind of crack on into the data center side, where you're going to hear from Harry, Harshit, and Nick on Contrail Enterprise Multi-Cloud, like I said, I've got a few announcements. <laughs> this man needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if you don't know who he is, you can read his name tag there. Uh, but obviously, uh, Matt Oswalt or at Mirrodin on Twitter. Um, hi, Matt. You didn't know that I was going to use that picture of you. Um, having fun with, uh, with dry ice and, and demoing NRE Labs. But uh, <laughs> he needs no introduction. Allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> N to the R to the E Labs. Um, NRE Labs, I was born as labs.networkreliability.engineering. This week I became NRE Labs.io. If you don't know me, go and check me out to learn about network automation. Everything is built in the open source and freely available. No paywall, no login easiest way to learn hands-on network automation, a dojo right in your own browser. Uh, it's really actually fun lessons. Um, they're totally free, so there's no login or anything like that. Um, and the announcement today is not just that there's a new and shorter URL, but we've got this brand new facelift, um, a shiny new UI. And it really speeds up the user experience and there's actually even more content to be excited about, too. There's new lessons and labs contributed, um, for example, by Red Hat. They contributed an Ansible lesson. And Matt's gone and totally revamped the REST and Git um, lessons. So definitely check out NRE Labs. If you haven't seen it, or maybe if you've seen it before but haven't seen the new UI that was launched this week, it looks like this. I was thinking of driving a demo, but for the sake of time, I thought I'd just put screenshots into the slides and let you go and check out nrelabs.io yourself. This is the home page. Um, automation Unshackled, like I said, really, um, there's no paywalls here. You really can jump into a lesson that looks like this um, by going to the Find Lessons. You'll see a catalog of many lessons about things to teach you network automation, whether it's you know simple fundamentals like Git and REST, or YAML, or Terraform, or Salt. And this is an open source project, so of course it's multi-vendor. You can see this lesson was contributed by Red Hat. And you can see a couple of tabs here, like the CVX um, as well. So you've got a Cumulus uh, virtual appliance there, as well as the VQFX from Juniper. So all of this stuff is things that you can not only use, but if you happen to be a uh, more development-inclined network engineer, you can contribute lessons to this as well and uh, record yourself in history. Speaking about uh, history, we've got these books for the delegates uh, here, the 2019 State of Network Automation Report, something we released in September of last year after surveying 400 different network and security professionals. Um, these were mostly non-Juniper customers, actually. And um, it's my pleasure to, to open up the Sonar 2020 survey for early access to all of the NFD goers <laughs> and NFD watchers. And the only thing better than free network automation is free money. So literally, go and do the 2020, the 2020 Sonar survey, juniper.net slash sonar, obviously short for the state of network automation. Tell us about how you use network automation in your professional career. And um, it takes about 15 minutes to go through these multiple choice questions um, as we collect data for the report um, this coming year. 
And as an incentive, and we're opening this up globally this year, uh, we're running the survey ourselves. We're able to bring the cost down quite a lot, so we're able to offer a really good incentive. And I'm hoping that launching this early access, there's no blogs on juniper.net, there's no social. The only people that know about this are the people that are in this room and watching right now. So go there and you can get a 50 buck uh, gift card for you know, about 15 minutes of your time. So uh, thanks, obviously, for, uh, for doing that. So now kind of getting into um, today, right? You might have heard of Juniper's corporate mantra, engineering simplicity. I think Juniper is a company that's well associated with engineering and innovation in our DNA. A few years ago, we, uh, we rebooted this mantra and tagline with engineering simplicity. Um, actually, you know, Tom, you mentioned Bouchon. Um, this is his line here, right? Success today inside of, you know, whether it's creating a remarkable experience for our stakeholders in the data center, the application teams and the DevOps teams, or in the campus and branch, the user experience, or our customers, the operational experience. Um, experience is really the new uptime. And operations is really what matters for our customers. It's kind of gone from the focus on building networks to building networking, or as it says here, the shift from building better networks to making networking better. The shift from a noun to a verb is really a critical one where the focus is on operational simplicity, right? And this is why um, you're here today to see these great demos of Contrail because Contrail inside of the data center allows you to orchestrate um, and analyze and secure a fabric, an EVPN VXLAN fabric. But when you talk about EVPN VXLAN to network engineers, they say stuff like, oh my gosh, I'm going to run BGP inside of my data center and I'm going to learn this new protocol and I'm going to go and configure this on my CLI. Um, understanding the protocol and all the configurations of it uh, is really removed. Uh, it's obviously encouraged that you understand the protocols inside of your network, but we can raise the bar of simplicity with Contrail to allow people to do that all with abstracted um, control and automated workflows that you're going to see today. So Harry's going to kick into that next. But um, a quick overview of Contrail, because you may have seen some past networking field day or cloud field day episodes on Contrail. You may have heard about some of our customer case studies like Aston Martin or GameSys. Um, many of our customers actually, you know, Packet is the infrastructure as a service that we run NRE Labs on. Juniper sponsors and pays for that. Packet, turns out, was also a Juniper customer, and that data center runs QFX switching and EVPN VXLAN. Um, but Contrail doesn't just manage data center fabrics and EVPN um, overlays and the underlay underneath that. Contrail, you might know, was born. Um, we acquired it in 2013. The very first use case was networking for OpenStack, right? Um, with the host-based vRouter model of having a vRouter on the server. Obviously, we've evolved that, um, and we continue to support OpenStack. Contrail is used heavily for many of the biggest OpenStack implementations in the world, but since then, we've evolved into use cases like VMware vSphere, supporting um, other orchestration systems. You'll hear from Nick about how we support cloud-native orchestration systems like Kubernetes and OpenShift to securely connect microservice applications. And really, we kind of summarize um, the value propositions with deliver, secure, and see. Um, Harsheet's going to show you, you know, underlay, overlay correlation, for example, and analytics. So many things that simplify the complicated tasks of EVPN VXLAN, whether it's provisioning or whether it's troubleshooting, we hear about today. Uh, but we're really just scratching the surface of a few of the work uh, flows and a few of the use cases, so I wanted to give people in the audience the whole background. Um, and then a call to action before I, uh, I get off stage here. Um, you guys, what you're seeing today can actually go and play around with yourselves as well. Uh, I put a lot of URLs here, obviously places where you can learn about it, where you can see it, and where you can try it. So for example, juniper.net slash EVPN, right? You can go and learn about EVPN thought leadership. We uh, partnered with SDX Central and other vendors to run a series on that. 
and some of our other solution pages. You can go and see our, our playlist on YouTube at juniper.net slash data center playlist, and you can try Contrail Enterprise Multi-Cloud with data center fabric management or the Kubernetes integration by going to juniper.net slash try.